All right, so Sammy Vasquez versus Aaron Martinez. I got to say, I was really, really damn impressed with Sammy Vasquez. I mean, I've thought I've thought in the past that he's looked pretty good, in, you know, skill set and everything. But, I mean, he, he did the damn thing against Aaron Martinez, man. Aaron Martinez was a guy that, like, to me, like, I was thinking he was the, one of these type of guys like Adrian Granados where, like, he... He he was a skilled guy deep down, but he didn't necessarily have the full training camps and the opportunity to really like shine, you know, against opponents. And it just so happened that you know against Guerrero and against um, Devin Alexander, he was he was becoming a little bit of a breakout problem himself. Um, but the thing is, I I think what Sammy Vasquez did well, and he prob what he probably did was he studied most likely the the fight that Aaron Martinez had against Josito Lopez. See, what Lopez had done and what Sammy Vasquez did was they both stopped Aaron Martinez. They didn't allow Martinez to get any forward momentum. What Guerrero and Devin Alexander did wrong really was allowing him to get forward momentum, to, to you know, aggress them, basically, to come at them. Guerrero, I mean, he, he managed to do enough... Um, of uh, enough inside work of his own in order to negate that and you know get the controversial win or whatever but the thing is there was enough time where he was gassed out and Martinez was able to take control and take that front foot and basically take the play away from Guerrero and you know beat him down you know th knock him out and wake him back up as he hit the ground and everything but I mean Sammy Vasquez I mean he just he schooled him he he was set the jab out he would throw the jab like as a sharp shot as well as as a, pa a pawing shot and then he would throw, you know, the left hand behind it and everything. And I mean, he just he just did an excellent job. He was throwing combinations, and he would he would jump back out, throw combinations, jump out, throw combinations, step out. And you know, he was he was judging the distance beautifully, judging the timing perfectly. And I mean, I, honestly, based off of that, I mean, just eye test wise, I think Sammy Vasquez could possibly be like one of the best fighters at welterweight. I mean. That's not only is that like a a good win, you know, a very good win considering what Martinez has been doing recently, but I mean just the skills on display there. There's very few guys that are able to do like the fundamental type things the way he was doing, the way he was able to do it, you know, especially against an opponent of that caliber. You know, he he was doing he was, you know, that's like classical boxing right there. I mean like you could teach a class based on some of the moves that he was doing in the ring. So, I mean, I, I thought Sam Vasquez did a great job. You know, like, for instance, I mean, I'll get to it in the next video with Garcia Guerrero. But, I mean, honestly, I'd take Sammy Vasquez over both of them if they were to make that fight tomorrow. I think he's uh, I think he's too slick. I think he's too quick. I think the combinations are too on point. The timing is too on point. And, I mean, he's one of these guys that, uh, like my man MV Chu from Boxing Coalition said, he's... He he can pretty much stand right in front of you and you're you're not hitting him, you know, because he's able to judge the distance and judge the timing so well that he's able to just slip out, step out, and you know, and hit you with counter shots and like counter combination shots too. That's that's one of the things that's really underrated. Like a guy that can counter into a combination is not only is it a is it an underrated commodity and like it's it's an uncommon commodity it's one that pays major major dividends because even if you don't necessarily have big power which i don't really necessarily think sammy vasquez does you can catch guys and you can you can catch them and in just that right spot hurt them and you know even if it's uh around you losing changes the entire course of the round or possibly even the fight so i mean sammy vasquez impressed the hell out of me i think he's live against anybody thurman and porter included garcia included um, all these guys included, you know, maybe, uh, maybe match him up next against, uh, the run winner of uh, the potential Peterson versus Berto clash. I think that would be an excellent fight for him. Or maybe, um, you know, if, if they want to bring back Josito Lopez, I mean, that's, that's a pretty solid fight too. See how he deals with another guy that likes to, to put the pressure on, you know, Lo Lopez doesn't back down. You know, he was, he, he's a guy that, that stands in there and tries to, tries to bang you out of there, you know? And so maybe that'll, um, be a good litmus test for Sammy Vasquez's power compared to you know some of the other guys that Vasquez that Lopez has fought against Berto, uh, Victor Ortiz, Canelo, so on and so forth. But Sammy Vasquez very impressive. Um, I can't wait to see who he fights next. Hopefully they step him up further. You know he's on the he's getting up there in age, so they can't uh, they can't lag around too much with him. So that's it for that one.